The Enterprise Report Generator allows you to create custom reports with a design specific to your club. All the modules with Enterprise Reports available to them include AR, POS, AP, Event Management, Dining Reservations, Health and Spa, Court Booking, and Class Registrations. To create a new report, navigate over to Business Intelligence, Enterprise Report Generator, and click the New button. First, we can start by giving the report a description slash title. Then you can set the orientation to either portrait or a landscape. If you use portrait and you add a lot of fields, the orientation will automatically switch to landscape and provide you with a notification that the report will be changed to landscape to accommodate all the fields. Next, we want to select a report type by clicking on the magnifying glass, and this will specify which area data will come from. This selection will define the fields available to select when customizing the report. If you select the incorrect report type, you will not see the fields that you are looking for. However, this field can be changed at a later time, noting that all fields on the report design will be reset. Report types are organized by heading slash folders, but the paper icon is what you will select and the following section headings are available. AR reports, which report all changes, including back office and POS, and membership demographics. POS, which reports POS only, so nothing for back office. AP reports, for report vendor information and payables, like invoices, checks, etc. Event management, which reports on banquets, i.e. your private events, and event registration as well as other activity modules with booking and member information for those who have made a booking in these activity modules. For example, we're going to make a membership count report, and in that case we're going to choose the client demographic report type, where we can go ahead and double click or click OK. Some other reports that your club may be interested in creating include the following. Once you've set up the information on screen, we're going to go ahead and click the Save button. This must be done before designing the report. If you forget this step and you try and click Edit Design, a pop-up will notify you to save the report first before editing the design. So we'll go ahead and save. And now we can click the Edit Design button, which will launch the editor function to design the report. The report designer will be split into three sections. The left hand side of the screen will consist of a list of all available fields that can be used in the report. The middle section is divided into three components. The top is where we add and remove fields to design the report. The middle, which is a preview of the report fields with sample data. And the bottom with help notes. You can change the size of any of these sections by clicking and dragging the solid blue lines to your selected size. You can also adjust the panels on the left and the right. And if you like, you can click the pin icon to auto hide the section, which will make it available at the bottom of the screen and will appear upon hovering over the tab. The right hand side of the screen has two tabs for properties, the group, field, and column, and the reports and sorting. Depending on the report type selected, a skeleton of a report design will already be constructed for you here by default, and you can add or delete columns as required. To add fields, double click on the field, or click and drag the field and place it into the report. To delete fields, you're going to right click on the column header and choose delete column. If you want to start from a blank slate, click Clear All Fields, and this will remove all existing fields in the current report. As you customize your report, you can click Generate Preview, which will generate the sample preview on the screen here for you. You can use this option to update the preview as you go along to see your changes. You can also create groups slash subheadings in your report. So I'm going to remove the membership type column, and instead, to make it a group, we're going to click and drag it to where it says drag columns here to create a group. 
This will create a tree structure and the group will display in red. This allows you to segregate your report and makes the group into a title. It can also help with creating totals later on. Another example can be to group by sales area so the data appears more meaningful. Groups will appear in bold on the preview with the data displaying underneath. To delete a group, right click on the arrow and choose delete group. Now let's take a look at the settings we can find on the main toolbar at the top of the screen here. First we have the create slash edit filters button. This allows us to add or modify existing filters. Clear filters allows us to erase all previous filters. Reset to default will clear all the fields and restore the data back to the report type default. And generate report which will provide an accurate preview of the report and will actually give you the numbers that you will see in the report, meaning it will pull the real data. Now you can format the report as you customize it. So let's start by looking at the data format. To format the data format, you're going to click on the dark blue area. And on the right hand side, you can go ahead and change the font size and style, as well as the text format. So for example, if you want to change that to number, general, or percentage. If including totals is set to true, the report will give totals for the column. You can also adjust the heading format by clicking on a column header, where you can also customize the text and even the column header using heading 1 and heading 2, and also the background of that column header. In the report and sorting tab, you can adjust how you would like the report to be sorted. As you create the report, you also have the ability to add a filter, which we can do so by clicking that Create slash Edit Filters button. A filter will restrict the data the user sees as it allows you to filter in or out certain information. For example, you can add a date range, which is one of the most common filters. A filter can also be used to omit certain areas and specify above or below certain dollar amounts. To add a filter, we're going to start by clicking the green down arrow and choose Add Filter below. Next, you'll want to select your field, which is what you will use as the filter criteria. So for example, maybe we want to sort this filter by age. So we'll select our field. Is equal to is how you want to define the data, and you can use any of the other options available. Then you're going to enter your value, which is the criteria. So we can say, for example, is greater than 18. Another filter that is quite common is the show between date filters. So we can add another filter, add filter below, select our field, look for date. Let's go ahead and use date joined as example. We'll choose is between and we can go ahead and specify the date range. So maybe we want that for let's say 2018 January and once you've added that date click tab and it will let you see the second date so add our value here pick our date and there we've go you can enable the ask button on the far right which will turn the red X into a green check mark and this will prompt for the ability to set these filter parameters each time the report is run. This can be helpful for filters like the date range you see here, otherwise the report will always use the same parameters. You won't necessarily need to use this option for filters like items under or over certain dollar amounts. Once you've added all your filters, go ahead and click OK. Before finalizing the report, you can also move around your columns as you like. To do so, simply select your column, then drag it over to where you'd like it to be placed between those two arrows. Now that we've customized the report from the Report Designer screen, note that there is no Save button on this screen. Therefore, once you are finished designing a report, we're going to go ahead and click the X button. And once back on the main screen, make sure you do click that Save button. Before finalizing the report, you can apply restriction via the sub-tabs that you see here. 
The restrictions available will be dependent on the report type being used and can be set before or after editing the report design. Restrictions act similar to a filter in which you indicate that the report only pull data according to the restriction set and also allow you to restrict user access to the report. So let's take a look at another report for example. First we have permissions, which allows you to restrict users from seeing or accessing this report. You can do so restricting full access, allowing editing permissions, viewing printing only, ability to duplicate, permissions to access the permissions tab, and allow deletion. Next is sales areas, where you can restrict report data to the designated sales areas, and only data transacted in the specified sales areas will appear on the report. Meal periods, if applicable, only for the POS report type, can restrict the report to pull data from specified meal periods. For example, show dinner figures only. Membership types, to restrict report data to specific memberships. Only membership types selected will show data on that report. And lastly is users. Users restriction refers to restricting the report data to transactions completed by specific users. Example, just the servers. Note that this is different than the permissions tab. Just make sure you click that save button if you make any changes. Once the report is complete, you must publish it to make it available to other users. Within the general tab, click the publish report button and select the users you would like to make the report available to. You can also choose to include an optional report note. Then go ahead and click Publish. Once a report has been published, it may be launched by any of the approved users in one of the following areas. My Reports, which will have a yellow folder icon found in multiple modules. And Print Enterprise Reports, found in the Business Intelligence module. If you do not publish a report, you as the creator can still find it here, it just won't show up for other users. To print and or export the report, select either option just shown, select your report, and click Launch or Generate. From here you can use the print icon or the export document, which you can save in formats such as Excel or PDF.